Hi friends, Miss Reagan and Otis here from the Bourbon A Library. So excited to have you join us for Sweet Dream Story Time. We have some really fun books planned for tonight, but first I was thinking let's get started by getting some stretches in. It's always important to get all stretched out and loosey-goosey before bedtime. That way you're ready for good sleep. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's get stretching. We're gonna do kind of like Simon says, but we're gonna do teddy bear, teddy bear. Ready to follow along? Okay, here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Sky. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Oh, stretch. Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, time to go to bed. Teddy bear, teddy bear, rest your head. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn off the lights. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. Our first story is Don't Let the Pigeon Stay Up Late. And this book is by Mo Willems. I think most of you know this book or at least know the pigeon books. I love it. Here we go. Oh good, it's you. Listen, it's getting late and I need to brush my teeth. Can you do me a favor? Don't let the pigeon stay up late. Oh, here we go. Thanks. First of all, I'm not even that tired. In fact, I'm in the mood for a hot dog party. What do you say? No? <laughs> I hear there's a good show about birds on TV tonight. That should be very educational. How about five more minutes? Come on, what's five minutes in the grand scheme of things? <sighs> what? What? I'm not tired. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. You know, we never get to talk anymore. Tell me about your day. <gasps> oh, I've got a great idea. We could count the stars. <gasps> Can I have a glass of water? <clears throat> Studies show that pigeons hardly need any sleep at all. It's the middle of the day in China. I'll go to bed early tomorrow night instead. Hey, hey, ho, ho, this here pigeon just won't go. Please. My bunny wants to stay up too. You can't say no to a bunny, can you? Okay, that was not a yawn. I was stretching. I'm 110% awake. You haven't heard, but 
last of me. I love that book a lot. Before we read our next one, let's sing a little song. And if you know the words, sing along. You ready? We're gonna sing Skin and Marink. Skin and Marinky Dinky Dink, Skin and Marinky Do. I love you. Skin and Marinky Dinky Dink, Skin and Marinky Do. I love you. You. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Great, friends. Let's read our next book. Our last book of the night is. Bear is not tired. Mm -mm. And this book is by Ciara Gavin. Ooh, there's some nice pictures. Bear is not tired. Bear and the ducks lived together under the same roof. They were one big happy family. Sometimes, Bear forgot that he wasn't a duck. He hardly noticed the difference. Then, one morning, there was a sharp chill in the air. The ducks didn't mind, but the cold tickled Bear's nose. It could only mean one thing. Winter was coming. And that meant it was nearly time for Bear to go to sleep. He had been having so much fun, he'd forgotten all about it. Ducks don't sleep through the winter. Bear knew they would carry on as usual. He didn't want to miss out on the fun. He even had his winter clothes all ready. So, Bear decided to stay awake. After all, he wasn't feeling the least bit sleepy. But the ducks began to notice a change in Bear. He kept falling asleep at the most inconvenient times. Bear tried to think of ways to stay awake. The ducks tried to help him. But nothing worked. Every sound was a lullaby. The rippling of the water, the hum of the washing machine, the tap, tap, tap of baby duck's feet. Bear was so tired, nothing made sense anymore. Mama Duck said Bear couldn't fight who he was. Bears are bears, and bears are supposed to sleep in the winter. She promised him he wouldn't miss a thing. Feeling reassured, Bear finally fell into a deep sleep. The ducks carried on with their usual winter activities. They included Bear whenever they could. Even Baby Duck found a way to keep him close. Then one morning, Bear sat up and opened his eyes. It was spring and Mama Duck had kept her promise. She even had the photos to prove it. The end. It might not be springtime yet. It's 
still winter. But it is bedtime. Thanks for reading. Thank you so much for joining us for our sweet dream story time. Otis, are you ready to say goodnight? But first, let's sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Say goodnight, Otis. Good night. Sweet dreams.